Alright, so if you have 100 armor... That, those are the worst zeros I've ever drawn in my entire life. Okay, let's say you have 100 armor. Um, that means that you're going to be getting... 50% reduced damage, and if you have... 200 armor... You're at 66. And if you're at 300 armor... You're at 75. And so people, like, will look at this... And they'll be like, oh my gosh! I bought 100 armor, and I got 16% more reduction, and then I bought another 100 armor, and I only got 9% more reduction. It, it, like, must be... It must mean that, that, uh, I get diminishing returns on the armor. It's like, no. That's not how that works. So, let's say you have 100 armor, and you have 1000 health, right? If you're 50% reduction, then you've got... 2,000 effective health, right? Now let's say you have 1,000 health and you have 66% reduction then you have 3,000 effective health and if you have 1,000 health and you have 75% reduction then you've got 4,000 health, which means no matter when you buy 100 armor in this scenario you're gonna get another 1,000 health. So let's say we have 400 armor now it goes up to 80%, and people are like, oh my gosh, I only got 5% this time. Nope. You have 1,000 effective health, or you have 1,000 base health, you now have 5,000 effective health. If you buy 100 resists, you're always going to end up gaining the exact same amount of effective health in the end. You're, you're going to get plus 1,000 every single time. So basically, it doesn't matter how much you're stacking resistance is. Um, it's not diminishing returns, you're always increasing the same amount of effective health, like, per resist that you buy. That's like the TLDR.